Next, we're just demonstrating some common uses for the lock line uh, in mounting applications. Uh, very commonly, the lock line is used with this three inch disc, uh, it comes with the Velcro circles. You can just use that to attach any type of switch. This, uh, you know, it, it works on a variety of different switches, so it, it doesn't, as long as you have a flat back on the switch, you can use any type of switch. Um, and it, the nice thing is if you do a lot of assessments or if you just have somebody that really, you know, you need to find position the lock line right where they need it, it works really well for that. Um, you can use it, you know, if, if, if you're doing an assessment, you discover that a head switch is not going to work for somebody, you can actually, uh, you know, you, could, you can mount it in different places on the chair to use it maybe as an elbow switch or a knee switch or something like that, or even just holding a, uh, holding a device. You know, and if you wanted to uh, mount something different instead of using a, a three inch disc for a switch mount, you can just pop that off and get the four by six plate, for example, pop that on, and now you could use it for holding a telephone or holding another lightweight communication device. Um, for the iPad, we show it mounted here. Um, again, it's nice because you can kind of position it to get it right where the person needs it in the chair, and uh, if they adjust in the chair, you can easily adjust it with them. Uh, and how you attach the lock line to the chair, in this example, the lock line uh, that comes with this iPad kit, it comes with these two spring clamps. So you want to look for a good flat spot on the chair to mount to. If you don't have a flat spot to attach to, that's okay, we have options for that as well. This tube clamp here attaches onto the wheelchair tubing. Um, most wheelchairs will have either 1 inch or 7 eighth tubing somewhere either on the back of the chair or down towards the bottom of it that you can use for attaching. So this just uh, screws on by hand, you don't need any tools. You attach the lock line to it and then you can use it for mounting. With this other uh, this uh, evaluation kit, um, usually people will use these reusable cable ties. Um, so you can use the cable ties to attach it quickly. If you wanted something a little bit more semi-permanent, you could use something along the lines of like Tommy tape or a rubberized tape. Uh, but one important thing that you want to pay attention to is we have it mounted both horizontally and we also have it attached vertically. It's important to get it uh, attached in both of those axes, otherwise the lock line is going to kind of rotate on, the, on that and it's, and it's not going to stay in position very well for you. So there's different options for you for mounting and uh, hopefully this will give you a good idea of some of the uses for it.